Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is the Gaming Guy. In today's video, I'm going to be going over pretty much the items that I think for week one and week two are pretty much worth holding on to from this full winter season so far. So I've had a couple of comments over the last couple of videos, over the last couple of live cops and things like that, just asking for my sort of opinion or view as to what items I think are best to or worth holding on to. Now I probably don't have the best opinion in the world but I'm just going to go by sort of like the stats side of what the items are worth currently and then look into some items that have come out in the past that have the same sort of description or are the same sort of items and look at how their price has varied. So yeah, if you have any more suggestions for any other items that I haven't included in this video, make sure to comment them down below and without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so now obviously I'm going to be going through all of the items. Now I did actually record this video and the intro uh, during Friday night, however I was editing through it this morning and it was just to be honest terrible, so it was extremely long, the video was like an hour twenty even with me cutting things out and I just seem to talk for ages and ages so hopefully I'm going to condense this to like 15 minutes and give you my opinions on the items that I think you should hold on to or are worth holding on to for maybe a month, two months, six months, a year or even longer than that so let's obviously go into the first item which is the Madonna tea. Now obviously as you can see I'm going to be using StockX and this is just for the point that on StockX say in like six months time I can go back and look at these items and show you like if they've gone up, if they've gone down and how their price has changed because that's what you can do on this website by looking at these sales. As you can see currently the lowest ask that it's just showing is in the grey colourway for 130 or heather grey for 130. Now obviously you're not going to get 130 because of the fees that do occur on StockX. After all of the fees you probably end up with about $115 but that's still a lot in comparison to the retail. The best colorway, however, is the black colorway. Then leading that very closely is the white colorway, followed by a couple of the others like the olive, then the terracotta. In any of these colorways, if you do have a size small, I would recommend holding on to it. Just in general, size smalls go up in price massively. And sometimes also sizes extra large are also worth a ridiculous amount at later points in time. Now if we do just go on to the black colorway, as you can see this is how it sort of graph goes. And it's sort of settled at about the $190, $200 mark. If you scroll down looking at them, as I said, the extra large sizes do sometimes cost a bit more than the other sizes. And the same applies for the small size. As you can see, small here, a sale went for $248, then $250. And in extra large, there have been sales of above $200, which is more than medium and more than what large is currently selling for. One of the best teas that I can show you for an example of this is the Gucci Main Tea in the black colorway. If I go onto this and you look at extra large, there's been a sale for $650. Whereas a medium and a large went through only within like a week or so before or two weeks before for $150 less. And again here only like about three weeks prior again a extra large sold for $500 and again here $600. Whereas in comparison to the other sizes they don't even come close. So yeah it's definitely worth holding on to either a small or extra large because the in the middle sizes of medium and large will still do quite well in comparison to like the retail. However, the extra large and small sizes do just seem to do a lot better nowadays. Obviously, this tea is two years old at this point, and within two years, you know, it's gone up an extremely high amount. Like, if you're going by its retail, you're going by nearly 15 times its retail is how much it's gone up in price if you have an extra large. So, yeah, some of these teas can do extremely well, and it just depends on how long it takes for them to get to that point where they are worth a lot. But I'd most definitely recommend just holding on to any colorway in this tea. Sometimes the more peculiar colours seem to go up a lot more in price and yeah I would just recommend holding on to any colourway. In most sizes they're going to be selling well like without a doubt so if you do have a small or extra large you'll probably in the sort of later time frame if you do have a small or extra large you'll probably be making a bit more money than the medium or large sizes. Okay next up is the toolbox the diamond plate toolbox. I definitely recommend holding on to this piece if you do have it because currently even if you're taking away fees it's probably about 40 to 60 dollars profit it's obviously a lot larger than the other boxes that have come out and the one that came out at 17 i believe it was is about like 130 dollars more than its retail and that's with that one being the size that it is with this one you can 
also take out the inside to it so it makes it a lot larger and it's more space available so I wouldn't see why not that like in the future sort of six months to a year or so this could go up in price a lot more because of the fact that you will have a lot more space to store things and it's just a cool little piece it's obviously a toolbox but for the point of fact that I just think people might want to store accessories or stickers in there I just think it will go up in price a lot more in comparison to what it has done already I mean obviously as you can see here's one of the boxes here's another here's one more this is the one that I was on about that came out last year $58 retail it's currently going for about $200 so you can't really go wrong with that the same applies for the other two that probably have uh, about the same retail as that you know they're at least double their retail if not more and yeah Obviously there's some other ones that are pretty cool like the uh, lunch box but that's quite a bit different to a toolbox but still as you can see it's retail probably was it was probably under $100 and it's currently going for about 400 plus so with only three years passing on this piece that's quite a lot of profit to make on it. Next up a piece that I think will probably be worth a lot in a little bit of time but currently it's sitting like if you were to sell it on StockX, it's sitting at around retail, you'd be able to get back for it. With this piece though, I'd only recommend holding on to it if you have small or extra large again. Uh, I don't think the medium or large sizes will be getting as much back for them. But definitely in small or extra large, you should be able to make a little bit of profit on this. And with small for sure, you should be able to get in a little bit of time at least double retail back on it but it is going to be one of those odd pieces where you might be able to hold on to it and make some money off of it but you might not be able to make a lot off of it if you do hold on to it because the market is always changing now we move on to the motion varsities i definitely recommend holding on to them uh, more so the black colorway than the purple however if you do have a size small in the purple then i definitely recommend holding on to that so if we go on to the pieces themselves currently the retail was 400 dollars and in the purple colorway it's actually flopped a little bit in comparison to the price sale which was for 520 so like I said in most things in general for Supreme if you have size small or extra large they're going to be worth more in this I think small might be worth more than the extra large by a little amount but yeah just as you can see in medium and large it's barely you're not actually going to be getting retail back for this piece or you won't be for quite a bit of time in the purple colorway however in small you're going to be making at least 50 to a hundred dollars profit on it so i'd definitely recommend holding on to this piece if you have it in small or extra large for the black colorway i think any size is safe to hold on to but i do think that the small and extra large again are going to be worth a little bit more than the other sizes uh, as you can see small 570 one sold for somebody actually sold extra large for 500 which is under the medium and large sizes so in this one small medium and large will actually probably do better than extra large but yeah again if you do have this in size small just hold on to it it's going to go up in price i mean someone already sold one i just saw them for 600 dollars so just hold on to it it will just go up in price i think because this piece is very underestimated and you know people weren't really expecting it to do as well as it has done so i just recommend holding on to it because it, it it should just keep going up in price i don't think it will go up to any like crazy prices or crazy figures like over a thousand dollars or something but i do think that it might go up to like seven hundred dollars or so mark where it's at least 200, 250 profit, you know, in pounds as well, 200 or 250 pounds profit should be available from this piece within a couple of months. If it does go over a thousand dollars though, I'll be extremely happy, but I will be wearing my piece, so it won't really make a difference to me. Okay, next we move on to the patchwork pieces. Now, specifically in the patchwork pieces, the actual coloured versions compared to the black and white colorway the black and white colorway will still have like value to them however it won't be as much as the uh sort of colored pieces now obviously as you can see patchwork pieces do do quite well you know they do sell on quite well especially the hoodies have always sold on quite well but as you can see in the patchwork hoodies the colorway that is more vibrant compared to the darker colorway is worth a lot more so just take that into consideration. I still think that the more vibrant colours in the end are going to be worth more. Um, in the shorts, you do want to remember it's sort of like the opposite to tees and things. You actually want to keep sizes extra large uh, in shorts because they will be worth more than uh, the smaller sizes. 
Now, if we just go onto the pieces, currently these shorts were $118. People are at least getting $30 to $60 profit. However, as you can see in the size extra large, it's a little bit more. And I just feel that extra large is like this in shorts, you know, because if the shorts fit small, then if you pick up a larger size, it's just going to work out better for you. But yeah, I definitely recommend holding on to any size in the shorts just because I think that they're just going to go up in price. Without a doubt, they should just go up in price. I think that the darker colorway are actually doing better uh, in these shorts or in the patchwork shorts in comparison to this more vibrant color. But definitely extra large is just going to be worth a lot more. So yeah, again on here, extra large sold for 250 and a large sold for 180 Before that, it was 150 you know, uh, 180 for a small, 150 for a medium again. So in this colorway, it goes extra large, large, small, the medium for like the prices, uh, which isn't as stable, but it's still going to be worth a fair amount of like money in a little bit of time if you do just hold on to it. I don't know how long you should hold on to it for because obviously some shorts do have issues with their pricing where they might just flop like that. Uh, but I can see these tipping over the $200 mark and maybe sitting at that and that's when you might want to just cash in on them. For the tees it's a little bit different. Um, in the large size in this piece it's currently basically getting retail or under retail back. However in small and extra large you'll probably just be getting like a $10 profit or $15 profit on it at this point in time. Now I do think if you just hold on to this piece for a little bit of time in this darker colorway that it should go up in price. Uh, however, it won't be as much as the more vibrant colours for the tees. As you can see for the vi more vibrant colourway, it's just got more of an open price and it's just more than what the sort of darker shades are doing. Extra large is sort of taking the reins here and yeah, it it's just taking the higher amount compared to other sizes. So I definitely recommend holding on to this piece because it should go up in price and I should have definitely picked one up when it dropped because when people received them in hand, they said that the quality and the material was just amazing. And and the online pictures did not do it justice sort of thing so yeah next up we have the bags now it's not anything specific for the bags it's just in general you should hold on to the bags because already some of them are double their retail you know triple their retail the backpacks won't be doing as much uh, however the waist bags uh, utility bags and shoulder bags will all be doing pretty well in comparison to their retail. Now obviously over time as you can see here the uh, last year's backpacks ended up doing quite well after a year has sort of passed. Uh, so that might happen with the backpacks as well, but only time will tell. I just say in general, any of these bags in any colorway will go up in price. And if you have a couple of them stocked, then, you know, congrats to you sort of thing. Because they will always just go up in price. And that's the best thing about bags over the last couple of seasons. They seem to have held their value and just gone up in price rapidly. I'd definitely say though that it would go purple, yellow, red, then black for the sort of choice of the colorways. They're not far apart uh, for the prices, however, I'd Say that's the sort of order of price that they will go by and when they do restock the prices will dip a little bit but then they'll go up after that and i definitely gonna try and pick up i think a purple shoulder bag and a purple waist bag or one of the utility bags for sure when that sort of comes around okay next up this piece is popular recently just due to the sort of uh, hype that it's got from the farmland company putting out a couple of tweets in the black colorway and then in the denim or they've called it the indigo uh, five panel I definitely recommend holding on to them the other colorways are also doing quite well recently however these two are sort of just the top pieces the sort of prices uh, aren't anywhere near the black and the indigo colors so yeah they're definitely doing the best at the moment and also yellow isn't doing too bad either uh, but these two are definitely doing the best and if you have one, I would either sell it now or hold on to it for like a couple of months to then sell it because currently you can get nearly like three times retail-ish back, maybe two and a half times retail, uh, but give it a couple of months and it might go higher than that. But most hats or five panels do not go above like in some cases $200 uh, if they are non-collab ones. So just keep that in mind that this might only peak at like $150 or $160. Then it might start to come down over time. But if you have one, I'd either recommend selling it now or holding on to it for a couple of months to then sell it. Okay, next up we have a, a difficult one to judge. It's the classic uh, script hoodie. Now I would say in any colorway for this piece, if you have size small, 
then hold on to it. The other sizes are doing okay, however, in general, size small always tends to do better. Someone got $328 for one here, which is $100 more than any of the other sizes, so I would definitely recommend holding on to a size small. Give it until it's sort of peak winter time and then sell it and you should be able to get a fair like resale for it. In the other sizes, I think it will still do okay, like you still at least make like $30 to $60 profit. However, again, same for pounds, you'd still make like $30 to $60 pounds profit. I saw someone message me who made like $110 pounds profit on theirs on the day, so you can still get a fair like resale value out of these. However, I don't think it's going to do as well in the majority of sizes, like excluding small, because small always tends to do well. Next up is the Pocket Pro stopwatch. Uh, pretty much because this was not released online, its price rocketed up a little bit. However, I think it will be a little bit of time until it regains the price that it was getting when it was first announced that it would not be dropping online, which is just below the $400 mark. Comparing that to its retail, it's like £100 profit or $120 profit or so. But yeah, if you have this piece, I definitely recommend holding onto it. Obviously, it was only available in store, but I definitely recommend holding onto it. Uh, give it, say, probably a year until the point where it's not as like hyped or it's not as seen as much. And that's when its price should steadily go up. The same applies for the uh, Lucano step ladders. They're currently about 30 or 40 pounds or 30 or 40 dollars above retail. However, give them a year, give them like a six months to a year or a year or two sort of time frame. And they should definitely go up in price because most accessories do or most sort of odd accessories do go up in price over time and you won't see them as much the same applies for the stopwatch you know just give it a little bit of time when they aren't as sort of available as they are at this current point in time then that's the time when they'll sort of start going up in price and they will be worth a fair amount more okay moving on to one of the final pieces that i'm going to discuss i have this open just for the point of fact to uh, prove it as an example we're going to be talking about the leather anorak now obviously the leather anorak is different from the jacket however if you look at the jacket price it wasn't as hyped within the first like month or so but past that when it started to pick up some traction you know people were paying ridiculous prices for it and now it's sort of gone at like a stable point of about thirteen hundred to fifteen hundred dollars which if you compare to its retail that's double its retail in most of the sizes it is that except for i believe the black colorway it's not doing as well in the black you're getting about two hundred dollars profit in the black however in this other colorway as well you're doing quite well too so yeah that's just an example of how a piece can all of a sudden rock it up when people don't expect it to specifically in the snow camo colorway it would do well uh, across all sizes however in the other two in the size small and extra large again it will still do well it just won't sell as much as this snow camo colorway now if we do go through them obviously it was just under 700 dollars for the retail I'm going to have to refresh all of them, like literally. Only one has sold in this orange colorway for probably about $50 profit or so. The only one that has sold currently has sold for uh, $810 in size extra large. However, the thing is with that, if I was to sell it for $800, I would get below retail on this piece. So if you are going to uh, have this piece, I'd definitely sell it like sort of in a Facebook group or on eBay or something like that. But I would definitely recommend holding on to it uh, because it will just be one of those odd pieces. The black colorway is actually faring a little bit better where the size small is nearly selling for a thousand dollars and the size extra large is also going for $900. Medium and large aren't falling too far behind at $830 and $850 but as you can see here they've started to dip below into that $700 region and with that you probably won't be pulling any profit in from it so only small and extra large are doing well in the black colorway but i'd still definitely recommend holding on to it if you do have this piece probably only in the small and extra large because i don't know whether you'd be able to get your profit off of it in the medium or large sizes to finish off obviously we have the snow camo colorway and in pretty much any size in this piece, it's going above $900. And as you can see here, someone sold a size small for $1,200. So it's definitely one of those pieces that is just going up and up in price. And it'll probably reach a point where it'll peak at possibly about $1,500 uh, at most in one size probably. Uh, but at that point, I'd probably recommend selling it. At this current point in time, you could probably get about $100 plus profit and $100 plus pounds profit off of it. But you just 
just have to see. If I was to sell it for the current sellout price for a small, I would get $921, which is £710 for this piece. But yeah, this is one piece that I'd recommend holding on to. In most of the sizes, it will do well, but in small and extra large, it will always do better. And yeah, just hold on to it for a couple of months until it's peak winter, then sell it. Because if you hold on to it into the summertime, it'll probably dip in price. The same occurs with some of the other pieces. If you held on to the patchwork shorts during sort of like the summertime, their value will go up a lot more in comparison to the winter time because people want shorts during summer, not really winter. So that's the best time when you can sell them. But yeah, that covers this video. If I missed anything out or if something in your opinion is going to go up in price, then comment it down below. Uh, but these are just the pieces that in my view I'd recommend holding on to. I was going to talk about the the still life tea and the liquid tea however I don't think that their price will go up as much as the Madonna tea so I didn't think it was worth sort of talking about them uh, during this video. One other piece that I also nearly missed out on just now is the newsprint piece because this absolutely rocketed in price. In comparison to its retail it's like $100 up uh, but if it was for like profit it's like $50 to $80 up and in pounds it's about £100 up but any size in this currently is doing quite well and I definitely recommend holding on to this piece I nearly forgot about this piece but I definitely recommend holding on to this uh, because it is just going to keep going up in price same for the black colorway not as well in the black colorway however it's still going to get a little bit of profit especially in the size small because small is always just going to be worth more so yeah that's the piece I will finish on instead I nearly forgot about that piece but yeah that's one that I needed to throw in but if I did miss any obviously comment them down below other than that thank you for watching I've got a bit of a sinus problem going on at the moment, so if my voice sounded weird, that's why. There was also another piece that I completely forgot to mention, but my webcam has for some reason cut out, so I'm just going to say it quickly, but it is this uh, split logo short sleeve top. I think in any colorway, this piece is doing quite well in the future, uh, but definitely the black colorway and the... Uh, with this this periwinkle and this pink colorway i think these three are going to do quite well and also in general if you have size small in this piece it's going to do extremely well as well so yeah that's just one that i completely forgot to mention but wanted to throw in uh, before the video ends but yeah thank you again for watching if you enjoyed like be much appreciated and other than that thank you for the support on the past couple of videos i really really do appreciate it and we're closing in on 5,000. so yeah that's gonna cover this video i'll see you all next time well probably tomorrow Peace. Had to have, had to have.